Diane, do you really think that Andy is... I don't know. You're going to be all right. Was anything else taken? Yeah. I think a, a bracelet's gone. So, a uh, random burglary, then. Has to have been. Granddad, he's late picking Sarah, but I could really do without this today. All right, I'll just take come for the keys. Um, actually, I could do with you doing some extra shifts. All right, I suppose me and Ross can manage. No, not Ross. He's off, um, holiday. So I'll be on my own then? Yeah, that's how I'm asking if you can do me a favour. Huh? well, nice to know I can be useful in more ways than one. Sorry? Talking about last night. I don't suppose you realise, but I was quite handy helping Robert out. And now I can run the garage single-handedly, eh? Is there any end to my superpowers? Or well, whatever. You're in charge, anyway. Right. Andy? Where the hell are you? Andy! How's he doing? He's in an induced coma. We just have to wait. Have the police said anything else? Well, we all know what they're thinking. Not necessarily. There's plenty of other people besides Andy could have done this. There's a whole family of them up at home farm for a start. Well, we shouldn't start flinging accusations about. That could make things worse. I only mean there could be more than one suspect. That's all. And I'm just saying we should leave things to the police. Well, there's nothing else we can do, is there? I just hope Andy gets in touch. I'm sure he's all right. You know what he's like at returning calls. You didn't hear him, Bernice. He sounded like he was going to do something really terrible. No way. Really? You're Debbie? I know. I mean, I was only six at the time, so I don't really remember. And Debbie didn't tell me till years later. But yeah, her and Robert were going to run away to London and Andy had a meltdown. Has anyone in this village Robert hasn't? Uh, be careful. You are talking about a member of my family. Upset quite badly, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> You're late. Yeah, we're only like a minute, Jay. Oh, right. Well, she won't mind if a dock of wages then, will she? Huh? You know, I'll probably round it up to the nearest hour. No, yeah, cos that's totally fair. We'll get a move on, then, eh? Sure you're OK to work? Yeah, I'll be all right. It's just horrible having all the Katie stuff brought back up. Mm. I'll tell you what, why don't we get out of here at lunchtime? And uh, we'll just pretend we're brainstorming our Granny Clegg or something, yeah? Yeah, anywhere in mind. I'm sure we'll think of somewhere. Yeah, after last night, I'm seriously thinking about having bulletproof glass put in. It's hardly a regular occurrence, though, is it? Well, no. But all it takes is one stray bullet ricocheting off something. <laughs> Don't bear thinking about. <sighs> Nothing like a bit of life and death to make you feel insignificant, is there? Yeah. Sorry, I don't get you. Well, going out on the pool, it seemed like such a big deal last night, but now it's... I think you should try and forget all about it. At least I've got something to forget, Mr. Only there for five minutes. I did my bit. Briefly. Hey, look who's back! Hello. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, fine. You know how it is. Well, it's been eventful around here. Hey, if understatements were measured in pounds, you'd be a very rich lady, Rona. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what's with the emergency specs? Oh, I broke the others. How? Nothing to do with last night's madness, I hope. No, was it, eh? Hey? It was just me being clumsy, that's all. We weren't even here for any of the Robert stuff, were we? She was up in that one, trap off. Yes. How did it go? We went to a bar, didn't we? Should have seen him just trying out all his charms. And, <laughs> but you know, I really, it, it was a, it was a fun night. It was had all round, really. Good. <laughs> You're actually working. Oh, it doesn't just go away, does it? 
Oh, right. So we're just acting normal now, are we? Well, you think I should panic? I think you should figure out what to tell the police. About the gun. We don't need to tell them anything. We're the only ones that know it was even here. Uh, and Rakesh, too, of course. But you're his client, so... I think we're reasonably safe there. Well, whoever shot him knows. <laughs> the suspect's highly unlikely to volunteer that kind of information. Suppose not. No. So long as we're the only ones aware that there was a gun here, we can keep it to ourselves. No need to shine a light in our direction. OK? Lucky. Nothing else you want to tell me, is there? What about you? No. Good. We keep our heads, stay out of the frame. Don't want them pointing fingers, do we? It's Chrissy. She wants to meet me. So stay away from her. Mum, I mean it. You said she was talking about shooting him. You need to stay away from her and tell the police. I'm not doing anything until I've spoken to her, OK? Morning, Miss Dingle. Free for a chat now? Diane, Andy's been in touch. When? This morning he rang Sarah's phone. You spoke to him? How did he see no, me? No, as soon as I answered, he hung up. Well, at least we know he's alive. Let's hope this means he wants to come home. I don't know. Falling asleep at school, whatever next. Daddy had to come and save me. I didn't get any sleep because I was scared. Apparently Carly let her watch a zombie movie. That might give... Louis, a ring lighter. Or do you think it's a bit soon? It really wouldn't bother me. She's obviously not your type. Oh, OK. I'm tempted to ask in what way, but I actually will ask, how the hell would you know you were hardly there? Which reminds me, what's with this story about our fun night out? It's not a story, is it? I don't think the time you were there constitutes a night, do you? Why don't you just tell the truth? I'm going to keep quiet. If I tell anyone I wanted to check up on Aaron, just shows how worried I am, doesn't it? About the whole Robert and Aaron thing. And then the police will find out and they'll want to look more closely at Aaron. I just I don't want to land him in it. OK, so you'd arranged to meet him? I needed to warn him. You thought he was in danger? From who? <sighs> Loads of people. They've managed to upset everyone. Uh, did you see anyone? A shot came from behind me. Did it sound close or far away? I can't remember. It'd be really helpful if you could try. See, we found this partial footprint where we think the shot came from. Don't know. Well, I just... I just remember hearing the shot. I need you to think. Can you not hear her? She just said she can't remember. We're just trying to find out what's happened, that's all. No-one's trying to pressure you. Have to say, like, I thought you'd have been talking about it more than this. Well, I told you, we had a nice time. What do you want, a full description of the Sydney Opera House? Well, no, I'm talking about what happened after Light Out, if you see what I mean. Oh, you can take your lunch break now, Kerry. All right. I want all the gory details when I get back. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Are you coping? Yeah, I'm all right. Mum and Vicky seem to be hogging the grief a bit, and no one except for Kerry's bothered to ask about the holiday, but otherwise. So, no news? No well, one's seen Andy? Debbie said he tried to call Sarah. Mum's been worried sick about him. Really? Have you told the police? Well, no, why would I? Well, because he might be the one responsible. You don't know that. Well, I'm pretty damn certain. That's what I told them. You spoke to the police about Andy? Oh, well, yeah, I've voiced my concerns. I mean, who else is it likely to be? Well, any number of candidates, actually. I mean, let's face it, Robert wasn't the most popular person in your household, was he? No. 
And Andy used to be your boyfriend, as memory serves. And what's that got to do with anything? I'm just saying it's slightly worrying that you're being so protective. What, you think I still have feelings for him? Or oh, don't be so ridiculous. Well, if this is the loyalty and trust we're showing each other, we'll be over before we're started. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm glad we decided to wait before announcing our engagement. At least this way we won't be wasting people's time! You've spoken to Aaron, right? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Well, put it this way. Aaron and Robert, very hot and heavy, if you know what I mean. Passionate. Oh, and Aaron's mum, she wasn't happy about the way he was treated. Only slightly less happy than Robert's wife. I presume she's being interviewed. Why do you think that? Well, it's Robert's fault that she's up on charges for everything that happened here a while back. You must know about the crash. Mm-hmm. Well, Robert was having an affair with a man. Chrissy felt completely humiliated and, well, she lost it. Thanks. I think you need words, don't you? So, I was awake when Paddy came back from flying lessons. Um, flying lessons? <laughs> That's where Daddy was with Paddy. Ooh, I think I'd remember that, sweetheart. Yes, you were, because you came back and told Carly that Paddy was a rubbish wind man. Oh? You should have been in bed, young lady. I told you I was awake because of the zombies. So tell me, why was Paddy rubbish? Oh, I don't think I said... He... Daddy said Paddy was only there for five minutes. Thanks, April. I bet you're going to ask Doug for another lemonade. OK. Well? Hmm? I thought he was with you all night. Yeah. Not so much. So where was he then? Marlon. <laughs> Mind if I have a quick word? We heard you having an affair with Robert Sugden. Yeah, finished a while back. Amicably? Not exactly, no. But not so bad that I wanted to kill him. Someone did. Yeah, it's like my mum said. He upset a lot of people. Well, thanks for your time, Mr Livesey. Please make sure you stay available for any further inquiries. Pants on fire? Yeah, he told me. Literally? Well, I've just been in the loo. Well, that's somewhere to stand up to interrogation, Mr Bond. <laughs> I didn't see any point in lying, that's all. Me neither. You went to look for Aaron, so what? What kind of conclusion did you think I was going to come to? I expect I can guess what this is about. I just wondered whether you'd spoken to the police. I haven't said your name. Yet. Yet. Would you blame me? This is why I need to talk to you. Yeah, I bet. You see, last time I saw you, you were holding a gun and threatening to kill Robert. Right now, I'm wondering if you went through with it. OK, so I, I was on the edge. You think so? But I am not insane. Not now. But what about yesterday? Well, if you hadn't have been here, I don't know. But what you said, it, it put things in perspective. You threatened to shoot him and he ends up getting shot. You can understand why I might be a bit worried, yeah? I didn't do it, Chaz. I mean, I, I'm already facing prison. Exactly. So what have you got to lose? Everything. I, I know the odds are stacked against me, but I have to believe that I'm going to be found not guilty at that trial, let alone being up for attempted murder. I mean, you, you made me see how stupid it was. So someone shot him? I mean, please, cos I, I haven't imagined that, have I? I, I, I went for a walk and uh, when I came back, we'd been burgled. Burgled? Someone went in the safe. They took my jewellery and, uh, and the gun. So, 
Where do I measure up on that little scale thing of yours? Mm, like eight. What? No, come on. OK, maybe a nine. Uh, Kieran. Yeah. How come you haven't tried it on with me? What do you mean I was? No, like, like properly tried it on. Like the whole way. Is that what you want? Don't you? Of course. So? Well, well I, you know, I just don't want to rush you. Especially with everything that's been going on lately, I just thought, you know, that I'd wait till you're ready. Right, well, um, I think I am. I did just say you were away overnight. Oh, right. Good boy. Off you go. Go on. Off you go. Hey. Hmm. Jay's kicking off back there, so I thought I'd eat here instead. You two getting on okay? Yeah, good. Just, uh, just working. Really? Yeah, dead busy. Hmm. Good. So Chaz knows about the gun. Do you do anything other than spy on people? It's actually quite cool, image-wise. My mum's sitting with a gun about to go kill Bill on Robert. It wasn't like that. That's not what it sounded like to me. Don't know if I'd have let Chaz talk me down, though. Oh, come on, we all know Robert got what he deserved. Is that what you really think? You mean the guy who cheated on my mum with some scally from the village? Who faked a burglary and nearly killed my granddad? Why would I? Shall I apologise first, or will you...? Me. I'm really very sorry. Me too. I've spent most of the morning worrying that you meant what you said about the engagement. Oh, don't be daft. It was just a silly row. I'm sure we'll have a good few more of them before we're done. <laughs> Not too many, I hope. Come on, you're overreacting. You just bad mouth my client to an officer of the law. I am entitled to my opinion. I'm supposed to be defending Chrissy. They have serious evidence against her. Well, I didn't say anything they couldn't have learned from anyone else in there. Except they learnt it from you, my partner. You know what makes it even worse is you have absolutely no idea how things are for her. Oh, please, you're not seriously expecting me to feel sorry for her. Priya, the woman is a wreck. Not only does she have serious charges lined up against her, but she's about to be questioned about Robert. And people are trying to threaten her life. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Eric Pollard showing up at a house with a cricket bat. You're kidding me. How would you feel if everyone was against you and you were all alone? I'm sorry, okay, I didn't realize. Obviously. Now, I realize you don't like her or me helping her, but she's relying on me for support. It's my job, so let me do it, okay? myself I wouldn't come here. Seems a shame not to see you like this, though. Look at you. Pathetic. I went over and over again in my head what I'd say to you, giving half the chance. But words just wouldn't cut it. So cocky now, are you? That's your thing, though, isn't it? Hmm? Making yourself out to be the big man. Treating everyone like dirt. Like they don't matter. You made everyone's life hell. Paddy. 
安德。K. It was just one big list, man. With me right at the end of it, and it meant nothing to you. You reckon I'm tapped? God, yeah. God, I must be. I must be to go anywhere near you. But only this time. It's not me I'm gonna be hurting. The only person I want to hurt is you. No one's gonna miss you, Robert. So hurry up and die. The drama continues in Emmerdale tomorrow night at 7. Can couples counselling help Louisa and our GP? Doc Martin continues at 9 and there's an unexpected visitor in Port Wen. Next tonight we've the start of your Coronation Street double bill. Will Tracy walk free after starting the fire?